Let's jump back to 1985 for a minute to the Special Mission Brazil figure set. There was a figure that came in that that we didn't really see another version of until they came out with a modern version of him, but that is Claymore. Now, I bought this figure off of eBay, and it was advertised as being factory sealed, but we all know, at least I think I know, that they didn't factory seal these in a plastic bag. These came in uh, blister packs inside a box where you could see the entire assortment of figures, I, I think. And uh, they never came in a, in a plastic bag. So someone along the way has decided to take a loose figure. And at least this is my opinion of what I think happened. Someone along the way has decided to take a mint loose figure and heat seal it inside of a plastic baggie. This baggie looks like doo-doo. It's all faded and beat up doesn't look good at all so we're just gonna go ahead and cut that right open i hope that i didn't destroy a valuable figure by cutting the shitty plastic off the outside so taking a look at the figure here he does not look bad we'll do a first person perspective section here in just a moment after we're done talking about the figure and we'll get him packaged up so 1985 claymore was released i'm reading straight off of yojo.com which is an excellent source of information uh, yojo.com Claymore was released as part of the fifth series in 1986. I said, let's jump back to 1985, but 1986 is where we're going back to. Toys R Us exclusive special mission Brazil boxed set. The boxed set included dial tone V2, leatherneck V2, mainframe V2, and wetsuit V2, and a cassette tape. So the special figure was Claymore. Now he is a repainted kit bash. Uh, the tape tells the adventures of Claymore, Dial Tone, Mainframe, Wetsuit, and Leatherneck in their mission to Brazil and is dated 1986. Its quality is mediocre. The voices, dialogue, sound effects, and story are laughably poor. I've never listened to this. I missed out on this set in Toys R Us. I never got it, never saw it, nothing. Never even saw it on the shelf. Uh, the second side of the tape is blank, so you can record your own adventure. Yeah, so basically it was a lack of effort and a way to just sell this figure set. Let's talk about his accessories here. I do have the accessories. Now, the accessories for all of the figures did come sealed in a baggie, much like this in the box. But I have his Uzi and his helmet, and we'll go over some details on those when we get to the first person uh, packaging uh, section of this video. But Claymore came with a green helmet and a black Uzi. A few Claymores came with another version of the Uzi. See variations below. See, that's the thing about yojo.com. They list all the variations that they can find of uh, your weapons and your figures and whatnot. Uh, be careful not to, just, not to mistake Claymore's helmet with Footloose's helmet. Both are the same mold, but Footloose's has a brown has brown features painted on it. As a matter of fact, right here is the Footloose figure that they're talking about with the brown features. I don't know if you can see that real well in there, but the brown features painted onto the helmet. Huh. Let's see. Also pictured is the bag of accessories that came with the Special Mission Brazil set. It includes accessories for all five figures in one bag, so you had to sort these out and put them with the right figure. Uh, the weapons could be extremely difficult to find. However, in later years, a toy dealer purchased Hasbro's leftover stock and made them available to all to, to toy collectors. So that that was a that was a pretty cool little tidbit of history there on this on this figure in the set. And then they show all the pictures of the uh, uh, the the box that the figures came in, the back of the box. And uh, like the insert all folded out with all the figures showing on it. And they also show that the file cards were printed on the back of that red insert and a photo of the cassette tape. Now, Claymore, I don't have the file card in hand. I would love to get a full original card back on this guy so that I could repro it. Uh, Zulu John, I, I say repro, but... Uh, I would I would be more along the lines making a, a custom that people could have with their figure because those those cards not a whole lot of them out there. Um, Zello John Grade Captain Manchester Vermont anti terrorist specialist and martial arts is a secondary specialty. 
Variations. Some versions of Claymore were packed with another version of the Uzi. The common one is the black Uzi pictured above, which is this one, I believe. Actually, no, hang on. No, it is not that one. Uh, down here it says, uh, the common one is the black Uzi pictured above. However, some Claymores are known to have come with the black Uzi that also came with figures such as Low Light and Law and & Order pictured below. So this is the more hard to find Uzi. Body construction. Claymore's body was entirely made of other figures. His head was a repaint of Footloose. His chest was a repaint of Televiper. His waist piece and arms were from Flint and his legs were from Dusty. So a repainted, recolored, remolded, whatever kit bash figure. Still neat nonetheless. In 2011, Claymore was renamed Captain Claymore. Uh, so while, while there are multiple names, they are all based on the character Claymore. And they show you the, uh, the original version and the modern version here on, uh, on yojo.com. All right, let's get to putting this guy in a, in a clam showcase with a custom card bag. So all of the paint and everything on Claymore looks to be in really, really good condition. As you can see here, no, uh, no real paint rub or anything to speak of. I think the figure looks great. It looks like it was probably uh, very well kept and his elbows are not cracked or anything. No, uh, Oh, this one might be actual. Let's zoom in on that one. Oh, yes. There is a hairline crack in that right elbow. Not a huge deal. I still uh, am very pleased with this figure. And uh, the price that I got him for was a little high. But, man, the paint on this guy looks excellent. So, let's take the uh, let's take a look at the accessories here. Get out of this baggie. And here we have the Uzi looks to be barely played with sometimes you'll find these and they'll be a little beat up and uh especially these vintage figures but the uh the weapons will be a little beat up and whatnot this one actually looks really good there's no uh no scratches or anything on it the finish looks great and uh looks to be the same with the helmet here yeah the helmet looks uh, looks pretty good and it is the all green helmet. And as you can see, it's still pretty shiny. There's the, uh, there's the mold mark where the uh, sprue was clipped off, apparently. And we'll zoom back out and get this guy packaged up here. So we have the clamshell. Oh, actually, let's do this first. Let's get his helmet and Uzi into a bag. Drop that in. And I, I really like these little acid-free bags to go in these cases for... Uh, just keeping all the accessories in place. That way they're not flopping around inside the case loose. And get his helmet in there. And move that Uzi over. And then I'll just push the air out a little bit and seal it up. Eventually I will have a file card for this figure. I'm gonna go ahead and get him situated here. Uh, the paint for the black watch actually looks really good too. Whoever had this figure probably sealed it away in that uh, little plastic bag for storage purposes and never really messed with it. My stool is creaking a bit. So here's the custom card back. We'll just set that right on top of the accessories and the figure. Close it up here. And there we have it. There is Captain Claymore. A fantastic looking figure in, in a... Uh, custom card backed clamshell case. And if I ever need to take them out or anything, I can. I've actually heard that you can uh, prevent elbow cracking or keep it from cracking more if you treat that part of the swivel arm with mineral oil, because mineral oil keeps it, uh, keeps the natural oils, I guess, from leaching out of the plastic. And that's one of the problems is that these are made of a different type of plastic, I guess, than uh, some of the other parts of the figure. Uh, that's why you see a lot of times these will discolor on older figures and they've actually lightened up a little bit on this figure i believe but he is very clean and the paint is fantastic i'm very pleased with this figure even though i do feel like i probably paid too much for him but um but yeah 
There he is, folks. Captain Claymore. And it'll make a great display. All right, guys. Thanks for going on this journey back to 1986 with me for Captain Claymore from the Special Mission Brazil set. Be sure to check out the other videos and hit that subscribe button. Stay with me and check out what else I have to offer. Yo, Joe.